Hi, I'm Bob. This is my solutions to the exercises in the textbook Microeconometrics Using Stata. Microeconometrics Using Stata is an excellent book for people who are learning econometrics and Stata. This is the 1.13 exercises in Chapter 1. We can use the cd command to go to the folder where you store the data set or you would like to store anything there. We use log to record the command and output. The first question is about the commands to find information on the estimation method. We can use help, search, find it or h search followed by the command you would like to find information. For question two, you can type SYS use followed by the opto dataset to open the dataset. Foreign is a dummy variable. It takes on two value, zero or one. We can use the prefix by in front of it. According to the summary, foreign cars have a higher gas efficiency than domestic cars and they also less heavy than domestic cars. You can also use graph bar to illustrate the mean of the variables between the foreign cars and the domestic cars. Next, we run the regression model. Now, the difference in the gas efficiency between the foreign cars and domestic cars is not significantly different from zero after controlling for the weight. For question three, we are already using the do file. You can download the do file from below the video and open it in Stata. For question four, we use the summarize command and then we can take a look at the return list the mean and the standard deviation are among those scalars of the return list. Then we can calculate the coefficient of variation using those scalars. We can also use the tabstat command in Stata to obtain the mean, standard deviation and the coefficient of variation of the price at the same time. For question 5, we run the regression first and then use the E return list to take a look at the estimation results. Then we can use those scalars to calculate the adjusted R square and then use display or scalar list to show the number. You can compare it to the adjusted R square, which is already in the E return list. Then you use the estimates for the coefficients and the variance covariance matrix to calculate the T statistics. For question 6, we define a global macro and then use a dollar sign in front of the global macro's name.
In question 7, we use the for each loop to create the variable total, which is the sum of headroom and length. In the last question, we create a simulated dataset with 100 observations.